Hey friends! In this video I will show you how to create soft UI elements in Adobe XD. So previously I already showed you how to create them, but actually in this video I want to show you some uh, interesting tricks how to make inner shadows because so many of you asked me about that in my Instagram account and also in the previous video. Uh, so in the previous video actually I showed you how to create uh, software elements in Adobe Photoshop. On my Instagram I showed you how to create it in Figma with uh, inner shadows and drop shadows. In this video I'll show you how to make these fake inner shadows in Adobe XD and you will learn much more actually from this video. So stay tuned and let's get started. So what we're gonna do here is, yeah, previously I just played a little bit with a, a glass effect, but in this video what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate this uh, layer. Let's remove these guys from here and I'm gonna make it bigger. Now I'm gonna change the name of it to Soft UI Adobe XD. Yeah, why not? Uh, so what I'm gonna do is to create, I wanna create this rectangle, just like square. Let's make it real square and it will be like 600 by 600. Put it in the middle of the screen. Let's remove border from here and let's change the radius to 100. Not, not just standard but to 100, I like it. I like when uh, all the shapes are smooth from the very beginning. And this corner radius allows us to create them smooth. So now I have this square. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna change the color of the square to the color of the background. And I'm gonna add border just for now, just to see the difference. And for this shape, I'm gonna add shadow which will be drop shadow and let's make it 20 20 40 and i want to change the color to the color of the background and we will move it here and let's change the opacity to something like 30. Uh, so what i did now i created the shadow for this shape for this shape i created the shadow and also um, I just showed the direction of the light and it means that 2020 means that the light goes directly from top left corner like the Sun for example and it goes right through the through our square and goes here now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this border so we can see the element itself what I don't like here is that I see the shadow on this edge what does it mean? It means that our blur is bigger than the X and Y position. And I'm going to change it here. I'm going to increase uh, X and Y. So now I don't have this like dark shadow on the uh, top and left edge. I have them only here. In my opinion, this shadow is too huge. So I'm going to change the opacity of this layer to maybe 20. Yeah, it's much better, but 15 will look much smoother. Amazing. So now I'm going to duplicate this layer. To do that, I'll just press Command D. Now I have another layer here. And in this case, I'm going to change the direction of shadow to minus 25, minus 25, 40. It means that I just changed the direction to the opposite from the drop shadow. Another thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to change the, not the field, but the color of the shadow and it will be white. Also, I'll change the opacity to 100. What do we see here? We have smooth element, nice and beautiful. Just let's change a little bit of the opacity of this one to make it smoother. Maybe 70. Yeah, I love it. So now you can see this shape is pretty smooth. One way how to make it even better, just add stroke, just add border, but change the color to white. Look at this, look at this one. Actually, if we'll change it to three, for example, if I'll remove this one, it looks much better with a, with a stroke, with a border. This is one way how to improve these soft UI elements. 
another way to do that to do that and now I'm going to show you how to create these kind of inner shadows in Adobe XD uh, what I'm going to do is I will duplicate this layer another thing I'll duplicate it one more time and I'll change the color to something like this let's also remove shadows from here and from here I'll change the color of this one to something darker uh, and now I'll move this top layer this top rectangle a little bit down maybe like eight points down yep why we did that now when we will select these two layers here on the left side these two squares and when I click this subtract button we will keep only this top left edge uh, from the shadow what we'll do next we'll duplicate this shadow um, not shadow like shape rotate it to the opposite direction and move it down boom here so now we can select the, this subtraction number one and we'll change the color to white and another one we'll keep as it is so as you can see now it's it looks like something interesting for this subtraction I'm gonna change the opacity of this layer to maybe 30 or maybe we'll make it lighter boom now this this button or just element looks much better but we'll improve it even more now we have two subtractions here this one is our inner shadow top left inner shadow this one is bottom right inner shadow what I'll do I'm gonna make object blur to this one and I'll change it to something like maybe 15 or maybe 10 yeah so now is as you can see we create this inner shadow here to make it like so you can see it I'll make a pasty 100 see this shadow here so this is like inner shadow works and we're gonna do absolutely the same on the left side for the light one object blur then now we have light inner shadow here on this side but the problem we can see here is that when we make this blur here we can see that some of the color went like out of the box I'll duplicate this layer at the bottom this was our base not subtractions this layer duplicate this one we will put it on top of everything select these two guys press um, now we'll go to object and we will make mask with shape when I click that now I as you can see I don't have this um, like blur outside of this of this shape another thing really magic thing that you can see here is that when I click double click on this mask I can see this mask layer and also I can see subtraction and for example if I want to make this in a shadow bigger I'll just select the top shadow the top shape and I can make it somewhere here and now this is our inner shadow I'll move everything back another thing that I'm gonna do here as well is I'm gonna move this subtraction a little bit to the right and bottom and I'm and I do that just to make this shadow even smoother now for this element we can change the opacity of it so as you can see we can achieve the the same color as our background which makes this element even like the smoothest as possible another thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create absolutely the same mask to our top uh, top shadow I'll select both of them uh, also instead of going to object mask this object you can click command shift M or control shift M on PC 
Now we have another mask here. Again, for this one, I'll move this subtraction a little bit here. And now we have these two smooth elements. Now let's combine them together into one group. And what we can see here, really smooth and beautiful soft UI element, or sometimes people started calling it neuromorphistic, neuromorphism element. It doesn't matter. I call them, still call them soft element. You can see that how smooth it is. And now when I deselect this group, this is what we had with just drop shadows. And this is what we have with uh, inner shadows. Amazing, right? So now we, what we can make this one, we can group it together. We can change the size of it. We can put it here. This will be our, like for example, button. Uh, we can create another shape out of it. The problem with that is just, so because we created this rectangle uh, and for example, if I'm gonna make out of it something like a circle or other shape, it will be hard to achieve. So every time we, need, we will need to create these inner shadows for each, each object. But if you are working only with squares or circles, once you created this element um, like for the first time, you can reuse it as, as much as, as you can. Uh, so another thing, uh, let's try to make one magic here. Let's make it th circle, this one circle as well. Now, when we'll go to these elements, we'll select this guy here. This will be our mask. We'll select this. So we'll, from everything, we'll, we'll just make these circles. And as you can see, everything is, um, like editable, which is great. It means that you can change all the parameters right from here. You don't need to remove them or do something like that. So now we have this circle, perfect circle that you can use. For example, you can have this guy and also mm, let's imagine you can create another shape. Um, maybe, may, maybe not like that. Uh, let's select triangle. Let's rotate this triangle to this side, change the color of it to darker version of this guy. Another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the radius to maybe 20. No, 20 is too much. Let's choose 10. Yeah, 10 looks right. And let's put it right in the center, optical center of this object. And now, if we'll delete this guy, now we have this circle. Now you can make the whole element. You can group them together. You can change the size of this element. You can change the size of this triangle. Now you have play button. Also, you can, for example, create next button out of it. Boom. I need to zoom in to select both of them, duplicate, move to another side. Oh, it doesn't show you how, can, how you can create this one. And let's flip it. So now we have these guys here. Yeah, it's, it doesn't look perfect, but we'll spend more time just moving them because this tutorial is only about soft UI elements. But at least you can see that uh, we created uh, these like player button from the soft UI elements. So now I hope you learned a little bit more about Adobe XD, about how to create inner shadows and that, and also how to create soft UI elements with all the possible options like inner shadows, drop shadows, and also how to change their shapes. Uh, hope you like this video. If you like it, just press like. Uh, subscribe to this channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Go to my Instagram account, maybe, and put your comments below. Just ask me anything. If you want to see other videos uh, about something, just if you're interested in how to create this or that, just ask me in the, in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.